Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to explore what is the allowance offset. This little option here that you can see, I just made it blue. Uh, so last time we did import uh, this vector here, now I'm just going to process the vector. I just have like scaled up a little bit and I have joined all this uh, small letter parts of vector into a, a continuous vector. So it's a close vector. Now uh, this is the profile toolpath that I'm making here. The start depth is 0, 0, cut depth is 0. 0.5 and my material thickness is 0. 0.5 so I'm gonna try to cut something all the way through here. Now let's see what it does uh, having allowance offset 0, 0. I'm just gonna calculate thing and I'm gonna see a profile 1 and I'm gonna see preview toolpath. Well what it did so far is it just uh, cut my material all through exactly at the place that I want it. And we can see here that was outside profile cut here. Now I have already made a profile to tool path which is exact everything is exact same 0 0.5 but here I have made a little change here as allowance offset 0 0.05 and uh, let's calculate that and see what it gives us so if we reset that and if we see here earlier our two path was profile 1 which is outside you can see that's profile 1 and that is profile 2 so what the allowance offset has done here is it has offset my tool path 0.5 inch outside because it was positive 0.5. If I put negative 0.5, it will do it somewhere here, which exactly I have done here, which is point negative 0.5. And if I turn that on, you can see it's here. So this is a wonderful tool because you're not making any extra vectors and you're still able to offset your toolpath. Now, let's take a look uh, what it does when we see it in the preview. So say for example, this is a profile one and I'm gonna, which was exactly on top of the material. As you can see here, outside cut, and I'm gonna preview that toolpath. As we see here, it did a perfect outside cut and it cut my piece all the way through. Now I'm going to do a profile 2, which we remember it was pos positive 0.05 uh, offset outside. And we're going to preview that tool path in the 3D. So as you can see, it did exactly the same thing. But it just offset it outside. Well, now you can see here it's a bigger cut, it's a smaller cut. Well, why is that? Well, because in profile one I use 0.25 inch of a diameter and mill bit, and in profile two I'm using hold down diameter 0.125 as you can see here. Sorry, I haven't changed it here. It should be. 0.125 so they don't get confused it's 0.125 so as you can see that the difference of gap is because of this is a 0.25 diameter quarter inch of a diameter and this is a eighth of an inch diameter bit now if we turn on the profile 3 you can see that that's gonna be the place where it will make the in the preview turn off and then I'm gonna Preview profile 3 to path. As you can see, it did the cut as well. So I'm just using only one vector, closed vector that I have here, and I'm still able to make a little bigger and a little smaller cuts. Well, where this would be more useful, uh, having the distance very close, say for example, the way it is here. Uh, 0.5 if I do it point or 0.005 or something that thing will be very useful for some of the woodworking joints as we can see here this is a wonderful website called jedwoodworking.com 
uh, we can use it for box charm where it has to be very close and perfect uh, fit to each other we can use it for dove, dovetail joints we can also use it for a hop lip joint also use it for the slur joint and spline joint so in all the situation where we, we want to fit something very tight we can like overcut or we can undercut our material so that we can manually do the process later on and make sure it fits perfect because what sometimes happens is when you cut exact to the size it will maybe will be loose or it will be too tight so it's always good to do like a little undercut so cut the aperture a little less and then you can sand it off later on and make sure that your joints are perfectly fit so that's one place where we can use this now a lot of people do have groove options when they design any different um, objects where they want to slide their acrylic piece in there or maybe a thinner wood piece in there and you know uncover something with it so in that case this um, allowance offset is going to be very useful I'm just gonna reset the preview here and what I'm gonna do here is as you can see I'm gonna play with profile 3 here and instead of cutting depth to 0.5 I'm gonna make it to 0.5 2.5 and I'm going to recalculate that thing. As we can see here, nothing has been changed so far. As three profile cut, profile one is the center one, profile two is the outside, and profile three is the negative offset. And so the difference only here is was 0.5 here, and now it's 0.25. And let's see what the result is going to be if we see the preview of it. Uh, let me do this first. I'm gonna run the profile one preview first. So it's exact outcut uh, of my design. As we can see here, it's the perfect outcut that I wanted. My outside cut. And here is gonna be the profile cut with the minus 0.5 offset. And I'm just my cut depth is gonna be 0.25 instead of. 0.5 now if we see preview to that so we can see here that the preview is done but you can see this yellow thing that means that's the mesh area and if I zoom in a little closer you can see that it did not cut all the way through it cut only half through the material because it was set to 0.25 and in number of cases this can be a intended groove where we can slide acrylic or a small or thinner wood and we can make it work um, it depends upon how you have designed your part but it can be very helpful to make groove mm, at the same time you know if you have you're using a single vector you can make a cut here a little smaller or cut a little bigger uh, also this was 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 but say for example if I do it uh, let's do it minus point sorry I'll do point two five let's calculate that thing I'm gonna reset the preview and I'm gonna do preview for profile one so we have an idea that it's cutting all the way through for us and number three is gonna be so as you can see here I got the exact detail that it's making an opposite cut for me for which ideally I have seen people making an opposite here using this little offset tool say for example you want to have a 0.25 so you do 0.25 when you do it inward and then you you know make a profile but instead of doing this if you have an idea of how you can take an advantage of this um, allowance to off allowance offset to it's gonna do exactly the same thing without making any extra vectors on your file so that was pretty much about it uh, I hope that it was informative enough alright thank you for watching guys